guys, it's Striker here, and welcome to an OBS Studio tutorial. Today, I'd like to teach you all how to record with OBS. Uh, pretty much like some of the most straightforward settings that should work basically for any computer. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. And if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to stream with OBS, which I will not be covering today, uh, could we get 30 likes on this video, and I will totally uh, um, do a tutorial on that. So. Um, these are the first parts of settings, language, English, whatever language you want to do that's there, hopefully it's there for you. Um, you can change the theme from default to dark, I really do prefer dark, uh, that's pretty much your choice right there. Um, the rest of the stuff, uh, you can play with it, but I, I honestly, I honestly think it's fine if you just leave them as they are. So, um, for output, this is the important part, like the actual recording, uh, process, like, you know, the settings for how it'll look and everything, so, um, yeah, so for simple, this is simple output mode, which will be on by default. Um, leave these settings, stream thing settings alone unless you're messing with that today. I won't be for this video. Uh, for your recording thing, recording path, this is where all your videos will be recorded to. Press browse, and um, you can either make a folder for it or just leave it in like videos or downloads or whatever. Uh, I would recommend making a folder for it, like, you know, new folder, my videos. Uh, and or something, whatever you want to name it, and then select that folder. Um, also, and for this generate name file name without space, I leave that blank. Recording quality, I would make it indistinguishable quality large file size. This makes it pretty good quality, uh, but it does have a large file size. Recording format MP4 is what's recommended, unless you like want it to be FOV or something. And then for encoder, I recommend making it as 264 low CPU usage preset, but it does increase the file size, but it does make it less hard on the CPU. So try X264 and low CPU preset. I recommend low CPU preset though. So um, this is one variant of what you can do. And if you wanna go a little bit more advanced, change it to advanced settings, uh, go to recording and make type standard. Again, right here, this is where you can browse where you want the file to go. Recording for MP4, leave these audio tracks uh, the same unless you know what you're doing with that. Encoder x264 rescale output. I'd recommend making that either 1920 by 1080 which is 1080 or I'd recommend putting it 1280 by 720 which is 720p for the best quality. Uh, rate control CBR put that at somewhere from 5,000 to 20,000. I use 20,000 for the best quality um, and for CPU usage preset leave that at ultra fast or very fast or if you like a really good PC try it on faster in all of these settings but I'd recommend uh, experimenting with ultra fast through very fast for like basic computers or whatever but you can definitely experiment with any of these settings i pick uh and see which works best for best for you but right now i'm trying to make it where it works for any pc uh not necessarily the best of quality well it will be pretty good quality but uh based on i want it to work for you guys so profile i'd leave that one high uh leave tune to none and leave all this stuff the same do not mess with that audio leave this stuff at 160 or 160 or 320, whichever one you want to do. Audio, make this the one, the device that you listen with. Uh, for me, it's a speakers, but it's my headphones. Uh, for mic auxiliary audio device, I'd put that as your microphone and leave the rest of these disabled unless you have like a second audio device you want to use. Leave this stuff the same. For video, leave basic base canvas resolution, whatever your monitor size is. Uh, just leave it at the top in output scaled resolution. Again, 1920 or 1280 by 720. Uh, downscale filter, uh, billionaire, billionaire, billi <laughs> I can't pronounce this. Um, as leave it at this if you have a decent one. Leave it at this if you... I need to explain this better. Okay, leave it as bicubic. This is for your graphics card. If your graphics card is just like basic, leave it as this. If it's decent, I mean, if it's decent, put it as bicubic. If it's pretty good, like pretty amazing, then leave it as Lancos. I use bicubic. I have a GTX 660. 660. It works good for that. Common FPS values 60 or 30. Recommended 60 is what I do. Hotkeys. This is if you guys want to like set a specific button on your computer that starts recording or stops recording. Uh, this part is whatever you want to do with it. Just press the key when you press the thing so yeah advanced settings uh process priority leave that at normal or high i use normal uh renderer leave this stuff alone please unless you like advance with this software leave it alone please leave it alone all right so i'm gonna show you guys how to actually add a source to it uh press tutorial sources add um if mm, if you're gonna do it with recording games which you probably are trying to do it with uh press game capture and name it whatever you want to uh i'll name it minecraft i'll make, just name it minecraft just for this since that's what i'm just gonna show you guys 
Uh, for this part, leave this, I mean, I put it as Capture Pacific Window, uh, press OK, and then I'm gonna start my game. Um, I'm gonna start the game, and then I'll show you guys, I'll be back in one moment. Alright, so now the game is up, I do this, you right click on Minecraft, or whatever you name it, Properties. Uh, make the mood Capture Pacific Window, and then make the window, uh, whatever your game is. Uh, Java W Minecraft 1.8.9, press OK, and as you can see, it is now up, but it is very, very, very small. So if you guys want to make it the, like, fit this part, do Transform, and then Stretch to Screen, and now it is perfectly sized and amazing. And you can make it like this now, and then it'll, like, in this, it'll make it look like quality and all that so um that is pretty much it for this tutorial wait no i forgot to show you guys something uh if you want to start recording press start recording and when you're done with your recordings press file show recordings folder and it'll take you to whatever your video files are saved so um yee that's pretty much all that's all to recording with obs um if you guys did enjoy leave a like 30 likes and i'll do one for how to stream with obs um, and, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be sure to try to answer them. Uh, if you guys have other tutorials with OBS you want me to do, then just, like, comment them, suggestions, all that. So, thank you guys all so very much for watching. I will catch you all in the next one. Stay legit, and if this video helped, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you'd like to do. So, um, thank you guys again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now.